Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today we are going to start a new season of diseases and we are going to focus in this season on the liver. So today I'm going to talk about the anatomy of the liver in the next few videos. We are going to focus on what the liver does in our body, different diseases of the liver and different tests that are done to look at the function of the liver and the diseases of the liver. So in this diagram to show where the liver is in our body, I've drawn the outline of our torso. So those are the two nipples. That's the chest. That's the bottom of our ribcage, the black line here. That's our breastbone, this pointy bit of the breastbone, which you can feel on your tummy. That's the umbilicus or the belly button. And this is the edge of our pelvis and legs below it. That green line I've drawn over here is the diaphragm, which is a very strong muscular structure which separates the chest from our tummy. Now all this anatomy I've discussed in my previous video so do watch it if you wish to. Underneath the right side of the right dome of the diaphragm, that's, that's a dome of the diaphragm, right side, that's the left side, sits the liver. And it is quite a substantial size structure, it weighs about three pounds, obviously varies according to size of a person. It's quite dark red or maroon in color. And underneath the liver is the stomach over here. Around here is the stomach. Gallbladder sits over here, which I have shown in my previous videos on the gallbladder. Small intestine is over here. So all that sits underneath the liver. It is the second biggest organ in our body after our skin. And it is one of the vital organs so vital organs are the ones without which life cannot be sustained for very long. Like the brain, the heart, and the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, etc. And they are the vital organs in our body. This is the biggest vital organ in our body. At any time, 13% of our blood volume, which is about a pint of our blood, sits in the liver. And it is going through the liver or doing something in the liver. So it's a very vascular organ. Hence, any damage to the liver by say injury or accident or whatever can cause very severe hemorrhage and very easily kill a person. So protect the liver. Nature has kept the liver under our rib cage. So that black line over here is our rib cage and the liver is sitting behind the rib cage. So you can't feel it from the front. You might be able to feel the bottom edge of the liver somewhere, but very, very little. In most patients, people, you can't feel the liver. And the liver is tucked underneath the ribcage, below the diaphragm, two very strong structures. At the back are also the back part of the ribs. So all around, the nature has protected our liver. So looking at the anatomy of the liver a bit closely, you can see that is the big liver. It's been divided into two lobes, left lobe, in the right lobe. Right lobe is almost twice the size of the left lobe. Each lobe has got further much smaller lobes in it which are composed of liver cells. Now liver cells are the thing that do all the functions of the liver and these make tiny little lobes or lobules and there are about thousand of these in the liver and each lobule has got not just liver cells but blood vessels and a little tube or a duct inside it. As you can imagine a tree which has got a big stem or a big trunk which divides into branches and those branches divide into smaller branches and further smaller branches. Same thing happens with the liver. That liver has got two ducts coming out of the liver called the hepatic ducts. When they go into the liver they divide into smaller branches and those smaller branches divide into even further smaller branches until they come into these lobules, which are tiny little microscopic branches. Same thing happens with the blood supply to the liver. The liver is supplied by two main blood vessels. One is called the hepatic artery, which brings smaller amount of blood into the liver. And one is called the portal vein. Portal vein brings the most amount of blood in the liver. And all the food that we eat from the intestine comes into the liver by the portal vein. These arteries again when they come into the liver they divide into two and then like the left 
hepatic artery or left branch of the portal vein, the right hepatic artery, right branch of the portal vein, and they're like the branch of the tree, they divide into smaller and smaller and smaller until they reach the lobules, tiny microscopic branches. From the lobules, smaller blood vessels come out and they join into bigger blood vessels, like again like a tree, and eventually empty into two big blood vessels called the hepatic veins. And the hepatic veins eventually go into the heart to take all the dirty blood from the liver into the heart. So hepatic artery and portal vein are bringing nice clean blood into the liver with all the nutrition, etc. And the hepatic veins are taking all the used up or dirty blood from the liver back to the heart. The ducts that are there inside these lobules, they join into bigger ducts like a branch of the tree and then eventually come out to the liver and come and join the two hepatic ducts. From the side of it comes the gallbladder and they join into the bile duct and eventually open into the first part of our small intestine called the duodenum. And from here, the bile which is produced by the liver from all the dirt that the liver catches comes into the bile and eventually passed into the bile duct into the small part of the small intestine to help digest our food, especially the fats. So that was the main simplified anatomy of the liver. I hope it was understandable and made things clear for you. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the functions of the liver, what liver does in our body. So please stay tuned. Hopefully I'll upload it in the next day or two. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, and I hope you found it informative, and if you did, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching.